I'm going to walk through some new functionality available in the PAS 2.2 tile using a new release called the log cache release. For this demo, I'm going to be using the log cache CLI, which allows for some new commands that integrate with the log cache release. You can, re you can get this log cache CLI by installing from the log cache CLI plugin or using the CF community plugins repo to install from command line. Getting started, I'm going to log in as a app developer user. This app developer is currently assigned to a space that has a single app instance and a single service instance. I'm going to use a new command called log meta, which will list all of the apps and services that are currently emitting logs and metrics in my space. Now I'm going to use another new command called cftail to inspect the logs and metrics from the application in my space. You'll see that there's a list of metrics coming from this application. I'm going to put some logs into this application. And now I'm going to add a flag to only retrieve the logs from this application. You'll see there are a number of flags in the tail command that mimic the Unix tail convention. You can specify the number of lines, the type of request you would like to make, along with the ability to follow and other functionality. Now I'm going to do the same for my service instance. This provides new functionality currently not available to app developers. Uh, for the service instance, you'll see I get a list of metrics. And now I'm going to add another flag which converts the output to JSON to show you an example of what the output of the log cache APIs looks like. These APIs are available using OAuth and are a great way for app developers to develop automation for things like alerting or auto scaling based on service instance or application metrics. The next part of this demo, I'm going to log in as an admin. Admins with Firehose scope have the same set of commands now available to them with a broader context. Because the Firehose scope has access to everything in the cache, it's helpful to specify a source type of what you'd like to expect when you run the log meta command. In this case, I'm interested in platform components that are emitting metrics into log cache. When I run CF log meta with a source type of platform, you'll see that I get a list of components that are on the platform emitting metrics. These are similar to the components that you have seen emitted through the firehose. The results of log meta will show you familiar names of components on the platform. You may notice some slight differences in component names that you're used to, but most of these should be the same as what you see through the firehose. You can also use the tail command to inspect the metrics from a particular component. In this case, I'm going to use the JSON flag to, again, show the example of how you can expect the APIs to look from the log cache CLI. The API has the same format for both an app developer and an operator. This is convenient because automation is used to develop for alerting or monitoring can be repurposed for both app developers and operators. This functionality view available in 2.2 and the APIs are used both OAuth and gRPC with mutual TLS for integration. 